No one wants to hear me talk. make a bit more of an effort to uh, keep this going and uh, yeah we've got heaps of missions in the pipeline and so far managing to be getting out and it's been great some of you may know that I've actually moved back to Canada since last time and I couldn't be more stoked to be over here it's been a real process you know traveling during COVID moving countries so when I first got here I had to quarantine I went to my mate Jason's house and then since then, got a job, absolutely loving it. There's, you know, so much fun to be had doing that. We're just riding around the mountain all day and, you know, shoveling snow. We're jumping in bobcats, using sleds. It's just really a dream job. And I get to be up kicking walls for, you know, pretty much four days of the week. And then the other three days I can actually get out and get into the hills and either go climbing, skiing, diving, you name it. It's just, got absolutely everything over here and loving it. So anyway, today I'm actually heading out to Kananaskis. Uh, I was out here a couple of weeks ago doing some diving and there's a cave that I've been in a couple of times before and the entrance is kind of a little bit unstable. So the last trip we came out with myself, Jason Levine and Vlad Pollock and basically did a bit of work on the entrance to stabilize it um, to make sure it's gonna be safe for diving because a lady from the University of Calgary, Sarah, uh, who's gonna be with us today, she's actually conducting a study, I believe, for a thesis. So the goal for today is actually to install some sensors, get the cave mapped and um, relined and get it ready for more exploration carrying on throughout winter so we got a bit of a ski tour to get there uh, it's pretty mellow uh, there's actually quite a nice trail network that leads up to it uh, it's probably about five kilometers of, of touring and then we get to kind of the base of the hill where we've almost got a light boot pack up there but again there's a bit of a trail so it should be relatively straightforward day now just to let you guys know I am recovering from a hamstring inju uh, injury uh, happened on Boxing Day at work, so yeah, it's still not 100%, but it's definitely feeling a lot better. Hoping it doesn't give me too many issues today. Uh, can't see it being too bad with the, the ski tour being so mellow. got all five of us skinning out towards the cave now and uh, probably be there in about an hour just get geared up put some sensors in the water and then uh, get some survey done and hopefully it should be a nice dive it's not too cold today it's only about minus eight and last time we were here was minus 15 so yeah looking forward to being a little bit warmer
Most of the skin's out the way now. We're just coming up to Watridge Lake, and from there we've got to kind of boot back up a little bit of a trail up to the actual cave. Um, shouldn't take us too long, it's just through quite a wooded area, so it's a little bit easier boot packing than it is skinning, which we did last time. And it got a little bit spicy on the way down, so we'll see if Jason decides to do that again, or if he takes a smart option. I'm definitely doing the smart option with my leg being the way it is. Uh, I can feel it a little bit at the moment. It's um, giving me a little bit of grief, but nothing too major, so I think we'll be okay. geared up now uh, diving can start pretty shortly Sarah's just doing some sampling and things like that at the spring so I'm just gonna wait for her to get back so she can talk me through what to do with the sensors and then I'll go put them in the cave do a dive hopefully map it as well and uh, yeah sitting pretty the lads just lot knotting a load of line for me uh, which is kind of nice usually it's a job which takes uh, quite a while at home but I totally forgot to do it so he's being kind enough to get onto that for me while I just kind of chill out before getting really cold because I think it's going to be about four degrees in there and at the moment it's minus eight here so not as cold as last time but it's still cold enough that you know you got to take a few precautions so we'll check back in with you shortly but it's pretty much going to be straight down to the dive now we will see you guys underwater <laughs>
Tom, you just finished the dive, mate. Uh, what are you? What are your thoughts? Uh, it's kind of interesting. It was uh, nice and clear going in, and got through the restriction without taking tanks off, which was a bonus. Uh, and yeah, put the line back in. There's still Martin Grove's old line in there, which needs to be cleared out. And uh, just kept going in, going in all the way down to about 40 meters, and then. Didn't unfortunately get the survey notes on clip. So I came back up to about 30 meters. Uh, I did like combat the narcosis, and yeah, just started surveying back out from there, which went pretty smooth. Couldn't see much. The viz kind of deteriorates quite a bit on the way back, uh, and that's just because percolation coming from the ceiling means your bubbles just make it rain. So yeah, coming back up through the shallow section of breakdown was uh, it was a little bit gnarly. I think um, you don't want to spend too much time there because it's quite unstable. And when you can't see anything, you're just knocking into like rocks and things start moving and it doesn't feel particularly friendly, but made it back safe. I don't think it was too bad. And we got all the data, managed to get the sensor placed for Sarah. So yeah, should be good to come back, bring the rebreathers in and hope we get a bit of a longer dive in and do some exploration off the end of the line. Still looking like it's going quite deep. Uh, yeah, no signs of coming shallow, so who knows where it's going? That's what we've got to figure out.